Press cross button to start. Oh. Story mode. This is the Far Cry experience. Range this setting at any time. Circle button. Black. My true Yarns, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. They done. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on. You ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? And you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. Cross button, confirm. Left, right buttons, select character. They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. It would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. I. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boat's waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. You fucking back it? Oye! Oh, yeah. What's going on? Draft East must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Draftees must report for duty. You will join us to reveal paradise. No! Draftees must report for duty. Alejo, get down! You will join fuck us to reveal Castillo! paradise. Fuck Castillo! Alejo! Draftees must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to reveal paradise. We have to go. Now! The boat. You're coming. You will join Promise me, Lita. See. Come on, Danny. Stay close, Lita. We have to get to the boat. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami. We'll say goodbye to Ale. I promise. You are in arm. Stay out of sight of any left. Use circle button to approach and hide behind cover. I told you, there's no one here. Stop. Watch the detection meter and stay out of sight to avoid being spotted. Touch pad button. Learn more.
Hey, Rojas, should have answered the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. I saw something. What? We're too late. Get the Stay out of sight of any uh, option. Accessibility. Audio. Dial volume 100. Subtitle size medium. Three of six. Use left button and right button. Off press. Control. Ubisoft connector. You're in on. Stay out of sight of any FNB search. We have to get to the boat. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami. We'll say goodbye to the Long notch, hello, we're long escape the building. Open up, this is the end. Get down. See you, circle button. You crouch and hide behind cover. Stealth. Watch the detection meter and stay out of sight to avoid being spotted. Touch pad button. Learn more. Oops. Photo. Options L2 button. Access. Audio. Options that affect. Menu narration speed, normal, 3 of 4, use left button, and right button. Menu narration, speaker 1, 2 of 4, menu narration is disabled.
What's not going to wait for us? Baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, Danny. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. For his family. Oh shit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gal. Here, that's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? No, no, this is a future boat. You real? No, no! <laughs>
He was El Presidente. Mi papá loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mio. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Tirano! You have poisoned Yara! You have poisoned your soul! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it, Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. So many dead. Gone. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Shit. Pistols empty. Need to find that camp.
How the fuck is he still working? The markings must be the Colita was talking about. Armband. Must be Liberta. Lo siento. Your family will probably never know what happened to you. Better stay quiet. I swear, the garden, the this has to be the way. <laughs> like animals. I can smell it on your clothes. Your sweat. It's the stink of a place. All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it on you. That's why you Go died. On. Now, I'm going to call this in. You? You are going to be slowly eaten bit by bit by the birds and the crabs. You're just meat to them. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. What's this? Could be useful.
Puerto Libertad. Steal a boat. Sell the fuck out of Yara. Oh, fuck. Coño. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. Not a dozen one visitors. Show your face before you shoot me. I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si. Lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny. Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt-out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? 
This map is old as hell. Made for touristas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita that? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Hello, my friend. We need to talk. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortes. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with Libertad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. You're really going to let this thing go, stay here? What's the problem? The problem is you're not a fucking What? Viva Libertad! Danny, how's the earpiece? Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. This spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble. Especially in areas with a lot of soldados. Si, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte.
don't know the name. What does he look like? Older. Where's the fatal? I'm a good person. Por favor. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. More dead anyway. What the fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you, and I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. old man. Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Is talking. Danny, so Clara says you're a legend. Ex KGB, ex CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men 
they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking countries. Sometimes for breakfast. How to reach a bit. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? Quit fucking around. Let's go. See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got Huapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. Weapon or not, the military will shoot me on sight here. Yes, this could be useful. This is more like. Found all your shit, one. Good 
work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Some wisdom from our valiant president. A true yard is love. Love for their country. Love for their children. Love for their president. Clara Garcia has one love in her heart. A guerrilla is a creature of hate. These animals are not capable of love. For their hatred makes them blind, and their blindness means they will never see paradise. My true Yaras, we must stand together against Lipenka, for our vision of Yara has never been more clear. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all of this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? The orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla, just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Go on. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, that's... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. How many others? 
The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix Rule it. number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay. Let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna need some armor-piercing rounds. These rounds fly straight and true and go through Kevlar like shit. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Do with it. Damn. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. Ready? Today, teacher sending you on a field trip. Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, Juan, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But Juan, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. What are you looking at?
a horse since basic training. Whoa! I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, then watch Libertad rise from the ashes. Easy now.
got to behave. has a statue room. Juan, the checkpoint is clear. Didn't that feel good? You've earned some guerrilla karma today. Keep it up, Danny. You want to hit the military where it hurts? There's an anti-aircraft site on Santuario. Blow it up. I appreciate it. I found the tower. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, si. I'm on my way.
Here comes trouble. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. <laughs> Perdon. I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. There he is. Hope you got some pesos on you. What do you got for me? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Thanks. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their families. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already given you his right tool for the right job talk. Where's the officer in charge? Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay?
Come on, vamos.
key to the armory.
uranium. Go your fucking uranium, Juan! Then get your ass back to me! Next time, the better... Juan! Juan! You have to walk, Waffle. want to know what he's going to do with you. If I know Juan, you're about to get a fucked up surprise. See you back at camp.
Another new recruit. Coño. Huh? Oye, compadre. Oye, Juan. <laughs> this is the Solver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Nita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, si, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve Earth one. So do I. Hola. Hola. Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. Hola. But I'm talking Hola. about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction, Danny. They carry gadgets that can make your dreams of chaos come true. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen is Supremo Bomb. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Excellent. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. Why are you feeding that fucking thing? Good. You're here. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now we're going to finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh huh. The Supremo. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strap one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? 
<laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. Finally. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Blas. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Go on, yo. So you're military. Marksman? Close us off? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you was good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali.
see the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento. De libertad. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao. Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> For Lita. For Lita. Let's make some chaos, Danny. Go, go, go. Residents of Santuario Island, there is a viper in your midst. The terrorist of Clara Garcia, the self-proclaimed leader of Libertad, is trapped on your island by our Navy. If you see her, or any Libertad terrorista, inform the first military officer in I put you in your place!
away from me. Danny. Shit, you really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. <clears throat> we work well together. See, si. listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. 
Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Think I lost them. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. 